Hello guys, this is Pavel Oskarov from Laravel Daily and in today's video there will be a short tip about required validation. There is a well-known rule called required but there are a few others which I have mentioned in a previous video we, we talked about uh, required, present and filled and in this video I want to show you required if, required uh, with and required without. It's usually applied when there are a few field, fields, not one but two or even three and in this case I have a demo project generated with our quick admin panel and there are th there's a form with three fields, four countries name, shortcode and currency. In the code in PHP Storm this is a blade file again generated by our generator, it's nothing too fancy but well three fields with bootstrap and the main thing is in store method where we use request file store country request. Pretty simple array of rules, everything is required and if it all passes I just return that validation pass successfully we don't even store that record for this lesson but let's try it out. So if we submit and nothing is filled everything is required and we have those texts written in, in a blade file and the colors are also here but what if we do this? So required if only required if name is United Kingdom, for example. This rule means that shortcode is required only if the value of another field is specific. So if we just click submit, uh, we don't shouldn't see any error here. So shortcode passed validation because it's not United Kingdom. But if we do pass United Kingdom here, submit. And now we don't see error here because the required rule for this passed, but this one is shortcode required field, is when name is United Kingdom. And by the way, this message <coughs> is this message is specified by Laravel. It's not I didn't specify it, I didn't customize that. That is default Laravel validation error message. So that's required if, and also uh, opposite rule required unless. So as it says, shortcode is required unless the name is United Kingdom. So if we do put United Kingdom here, I guess all those should pass and only the currency is required. So required unless it's United Kingdom, that is the rule to pass those two. Uh, and then I want to show you required with. So required with, actually I'll probably put it here, so required with name. This means that if the name is present then the currency is required. Let's see how it works. So if we just submit validation pass successfully, which is the message from the controller, this one, which means validation is okay. But if we pass the name then we do have to pass currency as well. United something Kingdom then it should probably uh, show the validation error. Currency field is required when name is present. And that is also a message by Laravel generator, uh, by Laravel core, I mean. And here you can pass more than one field. So name and short code, name and short code. And in this case, currency is needed uh, if one of them is present. So in this case, we pass in short code and the error message currency is required when name or short code is present. And that is another rule required with all. Required with all is the difference is required with it's one of those fields should be present, and required with all means that currency is required only when both are present. So this is okay, but if we put both of those then the currency should trigger name and short code should be present. Uh, currency should be present when those two are uh, filled. And then there are also opposite rules required without. So required without name and short code means that it is required when name or short code is not present. And also required without all means that This is okay. So if one of those are filled, then currency will trigger 
success validation. So these are just short rules required if required with and required without and required unless and I hope it is helpful for your validation in your Laravel projects.